fun with a cheap router table. Harbor Freight, hundred and I don't know, fifteen dollars. Comes with a router. That router right there. Never used a router before, so I've been practicing my little various cuts with some simple square rabbit bits. That's R A B B E T rabbit. For cutting grooves like this one. Uh for edges, right angle edges, like this one. Now the reason I bought this thing is to cut edges like this because I want to make a, a jewelry box for my daughter and I needed a way to make this bottom piece flush with the bottom of the box. So you cut this little uh, right angle groove in it, set the depth, and it'll be flush at the bottom. Uh, this thing is fiddly to set up. It's got the old school, you know, 1940s adjustments. This little pin, yeah, the whole thing slides up and down. A little late lever over here releases it or locks it. Then you slide it up or down to set the depth of your bit right there. That's a quarter inch rabbit bit square. Comes with these little wrenches to uh, change bits. Throw these wrenches away. They're no good. Go get yourself an actual real 21 inch metric wrench and a 24 inch metric wrench and you will be a lot less frustrated trying to set this thing up than by using this. Now what this wrench is good for is it's magnetic so you can set up your little light like so as a stand and then you can see your adjustments a whole lot better. It's a little fiddly but you know I'm not a professional woodworker. <laughs> I'm not a woodworker at all. I'm just some guy with money and time to fiddle around with this stuff. So um, it's got a little locking switch, which is a nice safety feature. That has to be inserted into the switch for that to turn on. Oh, you have a safety device. Let's not forget the safety device. It goes right here. Uh, all right. I'll be back in a second. Well, here it is again. <clears throat> I've moved it over to this cart. A little red cart. I don't know. I think it's 18 inches, maybe 20 inches wide. Uh, looks to be about 30 inches long, I'd say. Uh, it holds the cart just fine on top. So it'll be permanently, well, not permanently, but stored here. So I can move it around. When I need it. I think I'll go get some locking coasters so I can lock these coasters. And then use this uh, thing. Obviously, you can't do any routing if what you're pushing on like moves constantly. So that's not stable for use. But if you put some locking coasters on it, it might be a little mobile router table stand. Who knows? I'll report back once I've done that, see if it actually works. Hope you found this helpful in some way.